Another big story today, the National Defense Authorization Act was just sent to the president's desk. Senator Mike Rounds helped write the legislation. Kelly Lands Renee Ortiz spoke with him about what it means for South Dakota. The motion to concur in the James M. Inhofe National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2023 is agreed to. With an 83 to 11 vote, the 2023 NDAA passed the Senate. The measure authorizes nearly $336 million for Ellsworth Air Force Base in Box Elder. This is the one bill each year for the last 62 years where Republicans and Democrats have consistently stood side by side to make sure that we've done the best we can uh, to defend our country. If the bill gets the president's approval, the funds embarked for South Dakota will be used for construction of facilities which will house and maintain the B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber. It also means that you'll have uh, more families coming into Ellsworth Air Force Base, and we've included an additional $15 million for the school systems out there to begin the planning so that they can get the right kind of uh, facilities in place. And the Air Force will help with that. Round says the measure could transform the South Dakota base for the next 50 years. We've done a, a good job this year of finding common ground, uh, all sides supporting uh, these operations. It will make our country stronger and make uh, our country more secure. Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. And the bill also provi uh, provides a 4.7% pay increase uh, across all branches of the military and approves cyber operations for South Dakota universities. You can find the full report with this story online at kelloland.com.